Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm just going to show you what sold on Vinted and eBay this week. This is my first week back selling used clothing online, so I'm starting from absolute zero. So I think this is going to give like a really good idea for a realistic amount that people can make on Vinted and eBay as a normal human being starting from zero. Because I know there's a lot of videos that show what people make who have been doing this a lot of years consistently and have built up these huge stores and you know and they may be making like, this is how I made £2,000 in one weekend which is amazing and doable but for new people I think it's going to be really helpful just to see someone starting from zero and showing exactly you know how much you can make realistically selling um, I sell very average used clothing that you can find here there and everywhere I even show you where to find them on this channel so I've listed about 25 to 30 items um, over on eBay and cross-listed some of them onto Vinted so I thought it'd be good to go through both of them and just see you know which one I made the most money out of this week. So this is my Vinted page I've got 23 items listed from the two boxes um, that I've shown on my channel the last two unboxing videos that I did and you can see that these are the ones that have sold at the bottom these two sold a while ago so I'm not counting them too so I sold that dress for £10, that was new with tags, pretty little thing dress. Another pretty little thing new with tags dress that I got from every top brand for £12. This one is just a used, I think it was like Next or something. What was it? It's just an ASOS dress uh, for fiver. A size 22 t-shirt for £7. New look size 18 with tags top for £10. And this just sold this morning. It was a size 22 next top. So on Vinted, I sold six items that came to £50 uh, with an average selling price of £8.30. Okay, over to eBay. So I sold this AX Paris dress, which was very nice. It wasn't new with tags, but it was used. Uh, size 8. I took an offer, I think it was for £10. Next was this next jumper. But I put it on for 14, it was used, size 22, went within a day I think, and I think I took an offer, let me check, I took an offer for £10 on that one. Another next item, this was this wrap dress, size 22, went for £12. This one went really quickly, I'm sure it's because of the colour, it's a really nice colour, um, and that's a really nice picture as well, but it was like that bright in real life. Uh, it's size 18, that went for £12. Then I sold this M&S dress, just a spotty dress. £10, did I put it on for £10? Let me check. Uh, no, I took an offer of £7 for that one because it wasn't like anything special. Next is this black lace, what did I call it? Black lace gothic Victorian frill shoulder long sleeve top blouse. Uh, that went for £15. And this H&M sparkly top went for £8. So that was seven items on eBay, which came to £91.70, but obviously after the fees and everything, that came to £64.56, with an average selling price of £13.10. So all together, um, I made, after eBay fees, would be, after eBay fees and postage of everything, it was £114.56, which is absolutely amazing for just listing that amount of items like I said I think on eBay I have yeah I only have 25 active listings on eBay right now um, I wouldn't even expect to see any kind of consistency in sales until I got to at least with used clothing until I got to at least 100 listings but to get daily sales I wouldn't expect to see that till I hit about 300 uh, active listings that's with used clothes obviously it's totally different depending on what you're selling um, I have got these the last box that I showed, I've got the rest of that to list, which I'm maybe going to get done today. Um, and then try and cross list some more onto Vinted. But yeah, £114.56. Really happy with that in the first week. That covers the whole price of that last box that I got. So anything I make over this, and there's a lot left to list, um, anything I let make over this is pure profit. So yeah, I hope that gives you a good like idea about what can be done. And this is not me listing every day. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm going to list, you know, 10 a day or something because I'm really bad. If I, if I set myself a goal like that and I miss one day, 
I get really demotivated, then I'm just like, oh well, missed today, and then a week goes by and I haven't done anything, so I'm just going to take it really nice and slow and no pressure. Um, but yeah, this just shows what can be done. I mean, £100 in a week, you know, £400 a month, easy. I hope this gives you like a really good indication of what could be done by anyone around you know other jobs because I've got other jobs and I have my children and the house and it's half term so this is all stuff that's just being done here and there yeah hope it was helpful and hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one bye